All right, guys, it's been a while since we've had a Monday video. I'm sure you're looking forward to that. Uh, today I'm going to teach you a little Greek. All right, I don't know Greek. I don't know how to speak Greek, but I know a few Greek letters. You know a Greek letter, pi. Okay, and you've seen that before. But today we're going to look at the Greek letter sigma. Okay, so today this is not in your note packet. You're going to take this on a separate sheet of paper. This is what is called sigma notation. Now, in order to do sigma notation today, I'm going to get it right out of the way right here at the beginning. You need the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. Okay, so this is sum of arithmetic series. Okay, and here's the formula. Okay, it's S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Okay, now we're talking about the same things. Okay, arithmetic, where you're adding the same number over and over and over. S stands for sum. N is still the number of terms. So we got number of terms here. We got number of terms there. A sub 1 is the first term. And A sub N is the answer to the nth term. So if I want to sum, which is to add, if I want to add an arithmetic series, I will be using this formula. Okay, now what does a series look like? We saw sequences. Sequence look like this. And we're going to be talking about this more in class, but let's get a little bit of an idea. Sequence looks like this. 1, 3, 5, 7, comma, dot, 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 maybe. Maybe it goes on and on forever. Maybe it ends at 7. I don't know, but I'm saying that it goes on. Now, a series, it looks very similar. Watch. It's 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus dot, dot, dot. See, what you're doing is you're adding up the sequence. Okay, so how do we add up the sequence? We use this formula. We figure out how many terms there are. So S sub, maybe there's seven terms. S sub seven equals seven divided by two times whatever the first number is plus whatever the answer to the seventh number is. I'm going to get that all going for you. Okay, so what they're going to ask you to do in today's worksheet is to find the sum, but let's figure out first what this means. Okay, so they're going to give us questions that look like this. Okay, sigma from n equals 1 to 5 of 2n. Okay, this is sigma. Let me draw it a little bit bigger for you. You'll see it on the worksheet. It'll be much neater than the way I just did. But sigma looks like that. You've maybe even seen a sigma before. Okay, but I just kind of draw it fast. Sometimes it doesn't look perfect. Okay, but what does it mean? It means this, that you are going to plug in for n, the numbers 1 through 5. And you're going to add them up. Okay, so you're going to find the sum. That's what sigma means, find the sum. Okay, so watch. Here's what it's saying to do. Plug in 1. 2 times 1 is 2. That's the answer if you plug in 1. But you're supposed to plug in all the way from 1 all the way through to 5. So now you plug in 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. So we're going to add 4. And then you'd plug in 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And then you'd plug in 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And then you'd plug in 5. 2 times 5 is 10. And then you'd add all those up. That's not very hard to do. 2 plus 4 is 6. Plus 6 is 12. Plus 8 is 20. Plus 10 is 30. Now I'm not asking you to add it up yet. I'm just showing you how to do it. Now the problem with doing it like this is what if this had been 1 to 55? Then you'd have to plug in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, all the way up to 55. It would take you forever. Way too much work. So we'll have to use a formula, which we will in just a second. Let's say that I gave you sigma from k equals 1 to 3 of 4k plus 2. So now what I'm saying is plug in 1, plug in 2, plug in 3. But don't go past 3. It's saying plug it in from 1 to 3. 
So if I plug in 1, you'd have 4, plus 2, you'd get 6, plus, because sigma means sum, plug in 2, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, plug in 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. And then you'd add those up. Again, that would be easy because it's a low number. But what are we going to do when it's a little bit higher number? Okay, let's do that now. Okay, so how are we going to do this using the formula with a higher number on top? Here we go. So let's say that I give you sigma from n equals 1 to 8 of 2n plus 3. Again, we are not going to plug in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's too much work. All right? What we're going to do is we're going to use the sum formula that I gave you up here. Because these things are arithmetic. I'll talk a little bit more about how you know it's arithmetic in class. Right now, just trust me, it's arithmetic, what I'm giving you. Okay, so we're going to use the formula. S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. N is the number of terms. Okay, now listen. S stands for sum. So we're going to be finding the sum of eight terms. Now, how did I know that it was sum of eight terms? Because, again, you'd be plugging in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. You'd add all those up. That's eight terms to add up. Okay, so S sub 8 equals. Now, again, N is number of terms. There's going to be eight terms divided by 2 times... The answer to the first term, well, how am I going to get the answer to the first term? Because A sub 1 stands for answer to the first term. I'm going to plug in 1 to get the answer to the first term. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. And that's the answer to the first term. Plus, I want the answer to the 8th term. On this one, I need answer to the 8th because there's 8 terms. Well, how are you going to get the 8th term? You'd get that by plugging in 8. So you'll do 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. And so then this is going to be 4 times 24, which I think is 96. And so the answer to this sigma notation question is 96. Okay, It's a fancy way of showing the sum of things. You do some of this in um, statistics. If you take stats, you'll do some of it in calculus. Um, you got to kind of understand how it all works. All right, let's do another example of that. See if we can catch on. Okay, so this example is sigma from k equals 1 to 14 of negative 3k. Okay, again, I'm going to talk about in class how I know that this is arithmetic, but sigma means sum, and right now we only have this sum formula to work with. So we're going to use that to find the sum. Okay, so S sub what? Well, how many numbers are there going to be? N is number of numbers. Well, if you're plugging in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, all the way up to 14, there's going to be 14 numbers. So S sub 14 equals 14 divided by 2 times the answer to the first term. Now, how do I get the answer to the first term? Is I plug in 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And then I add to it the answer to the 14th, a sub 14. Well, how am I going to get the answer to the 14th? I'm going to plug in 14. Negative 3 times 14 is negative 42. So this is going to be 7 times negative 45. I might not be sure what that is in my head. I need a calculator. Let me grab for one here. So I'm going to have 7. Oops. So we're going to do 7 times negative 45. And that came out to negative 315. Not very hard, and we got more to do with this, and we will in class. But hopefully, you kind of got an idea. Let's do one more together, and then I'm going to set you out to do your worksheet. Okay, example, this will be the third one in this. Let's see what we can do with it. It's going to be sigma from i equals 1 to 43. Don't worry about what letter it is. Who cares? Okay, they can use i, they can use n, they can use k. Use whatever you want. 
okay, of 3i minus 5. Now, this is not the i like imaginary number i. Don't get confused by that. It's not. Okay, again, it's arithmetic. The way you know it's arithmetic is that there's no exponents, and we'll talk about that when we get to the geometric section. Okay, so we're going to use the arithmetic sum formula, s sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. How n is number of terms. How many terms are there going to be? If you're going to plug in 1 through 43, there's going to be 43 terms equals 43 divided by 2 times now the answer to the first term. You get the answer to the first term by plugging in 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. And then the answer to the 43rd term, I'm going to plug in 43 to get that. All right, now again, I might need my calculator. 3 times 43, and then subtract 5. Okay, and that's 124. So plus 124. So now that's going to be 122 times whatever 43 divided by 2 is. Whoops, 43 divided by 2, we get 21.5. So you can have 21.5 times 122. And the answer there is 2,623. And that is going to be your answer, evaluating that sigma. All right? Okay, so you should have a little bit of an idea of how to do this now. Rewatch if you need to. There's a worksheet to finish off, and you should be good to go. All right, enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I will see you tomorrow.